Time now for the meltdowns of the week. With me to discuss them is Tommy Laren, host of Tommy on the Blaze. Let's start with this filmmaker who did a documentary on Michael Brown, the black teenager who was shot by a cop and sparked the hands up, don't shoot movement. Cue the meltdown. You're saying all of that doesn't matter. Their yes. investigation is absolutely not true. When, my, when the facts Brown of this case come out, that when the facts of this case, excuse gun. me, miss, right, can I speak now? When the facts of this case come out in my film, Stranger Fruit, the real facts of this case, the facts of this case that Bob McCullough doesn't want us talking about, like the fact that Michael Brown was shot in the head and a bullet came out of his eye. Do you know how that would happen? When your head is down the, he, and there's a bullet in the ground, in their report, there's a bullet in the ground by Michael Brown's head. Now, how would a bullet go through here, out of his eye, Look, and then I'll, get stuck in the ground? What I know is that there, was, Let, there, was a, there were three different forensic investigations that were done that showed that he I was shot care. in the front. They failed him. Everyone they in all the failed. country was told they this all narrative failed. that he was shot in the back. They all, that you know how many black men are in jail right now? You know how black men are in jail right now? You know how many black men are in jail right now for nothing? For nothing? Because the Department of Justice failed them? You know how many black men are in jail right now? Don't tell me because they closed the book on it. We're okay. Wow. Oh, my God. Tommy, first of all, that was ridiculous. And Martha handled that beautifully, I thought. What was this guy on TV for to begin with? What, what's he selling? Well, he had a documentary that actually debuted at South by Southwest. And in the documentary, he's trying to say that because Michael Brown, apparently the night before, um, from a surveillance video that hadn't been released, that he was in that store the night before at 1 a.m. and he was trying to sell drugs or make a drug exchange. So somehow the next day before his encounter with Darren Wilson, because he tried to sell drugs the night before, maybe he's just a drug dealer, not a robber. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole, that was the whole point of this documentary, saying, no, he might be a drug dealer as well, and maybe not a robber, but maybe so, and then the store owners are still denying it. So really, it's just a clear case of instability on that guy's part. Very unstable guy right there. And then to say that he was shot in the head, I think Martha <laughs> said, this guy's three forensic teams looked at it, shot in the body. I mean, I don't know what this guy's deal is. Uh, next up, we have Snoop Dogg. Oh boy. So I don't know what he because it's Snoop Lion, Snoop Doggy Dog. I don't he's know. He's a dog again. Now. Is a dog now? He went back to dog. Dog. Um, yeah, and double, he double and he has a music video, and basically looks like he's assassinating a President Trump here. Mm -hmm. Is this it right here? Okay, so this is it right here. Boom. Wow. That's pretty nasty right there. I, I mean, it, and, and I think uh, his, his, his cousin or his son or something that, like that came out and said this on Twitter. Hey, yo, Donald Trump, shut your punk ass up talking this about my uncle Snoop Dogg before we pimp your wife and make her work for us. So Snoop's out there shooting the president, and mm -hmm. then his nephew's out there saying he wants to pimp out the first lady. What's going on in the uh, Snoop Dogg family, do you think? Well, can you imagine if that were President Obama that was being, you know, whether it's supposed to be artistic or what have you, can you imagine if that was a President Obama clown? Yeah. I mean, there would be an uproar, and I think President Trump actually said that. He but did. again, I'm wondering where all the celebrities are. Where's Ashton, Ashton Kutcher? I mean, didn't he testify before Congress about, you know, sex trafficking and human trafficking? Yeah. But now other members of the Hollywood elite think that it's okay to make jokes about sex slavery with the no. first lady. I mean, the things that have been said about this family, from Barron Trump to Melania to Ivanka and then the brothers, I mean, it is just unbelievably vicious, the amount of animosity and hatred directed their way. Um, now, Whoopi Goldberg, your friend, you were just on The View, weren't you? <laughs> she was gone yesterday. Oh. She wasn't there. She probably I boycotted joy. because you knew she was coming on. She might have actually moved because she was going to move if President Trump was elected. So she may you, have just been you, leaving the country. Do you I think don't know. she's that's, on her way to Canada? I, I don't know. I mean, the, that's just hearsay okay. coming from my mouth and no one else's. That, but she that, wasn't there yesterday. That could be fake news. Um, and she was upset about a little bit of fake news. Someone wrote something about maybe what she was saying about the woman who... President Trump brought to the State of the Union, and she freaked out. Let's look at this. Something came out on a website, a fake news website, about me. Um, yeah. And it endangered my family's life, and it yeah. endangered my life. Mm -hmm. He accused me of, of uh, saying that the woman that was celebrated by the current president, whose husband died, yeah. was doing it for the attention. If I hadn't been made aware of this, I could have found out about this at the 
end of a barrel of a gun. <laughs> Sir, the fact that you don't give a crap that it endangered me is unconscionable. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get my lawyer and c I'm coming for you. So Whoopi's upset about a no-name blogger for yeah. endangering her life. <laughs> then you have Snoop Dogg a day ago pulling a trigger against President Obama. She hasn't said anything about that, I don't think. No, it's okay, but they only care. Liberals tend to only care when it's being directed towards them, and then everything changes. Right. I mean, life is completely in reverse when it, they're suddenly the target of fake news. She's very upset about it. I mean, rightly so, but I would just like to see some of that outrage maybe directed at, at Bow Wow, Snoop, you know, any, any number of the Hollywood elite. That's true. Uh, I don't see that coming. And uh, I also don't think her um, lawsuit against the blogger is going to go anywhere. <laughs> uh, but, Tommy, thank you very much.